I love maths. We love maths. Welcome to Wednesday's maths meeting. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's math meeting. Thank you for everyone that sent things in. That was really great to see you doing so much great maths work. So today we are going to do number, pattern, counting, and odd one out. And you notice that the same things as yesterday. We keep the, the same, the th uh, we keep the things the same every day for a week. And then we swap a couple of things out each week to keep it nice and fresh. We keep the same things every week to make sure that you're learning and it's going in and you're getting cleverer and cleverer. So today's number, hmm, it's quite a big number today. Yesterday's number was five. So what's today's number? Is, is it bigger than five? or smaller than five? What do you think? Bigger or smaller than five? Hmm. I think it's bigger than five. Let's check, shall we? Let's get a five. Here's a five. Oh yes, it's bigger. There's more. You put the five on top. The green's poking out the top. It must be bigger. Okay. That's one thing we know, it's bigger than five. It's a flat top. Five was a bobble top. There's a bobble top, but we can see five is a flat top. Something interesting to notice. Hmm. Let's see, it's light down. Make it easier for you. If you know what it is, shout out the number and see if you can hold up that many fingers. Well, you need one hand or two hands? Well, one hand is five, isn't it? And it's bigger than five. Oh, I'm gonna need two hands for this number. Hmm. Oh, and I've noticed something interesting about it. I can draw a line here. If I draw a line here, like this, this bit is the same as this bit. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see, on the top we've got one, two, three, four. And on the bottom, we've got one, two, three, four. Four and four. Two fours. Okay, well, how many is that all together? That's not four, it's two fours. So how many is that? Now, let's see if I can remember the rules of counting. I start with number one. I count everything how many times? Just once. And the number I stop at is the number of things. So I'm going to start at the bottom and go up like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, four and four is eight. Okay, let's try again. I'm going to count from the top to see if it's the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, it's still eight. Let's go up and down. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's still eight. No matter what, well, however I count it, it's always eight. Let's just check this is eight because I'm counting these. Let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight. Now, drawing the number eight is a little bit tricky. It's quite a tricky number. The way to draw it, you can, some people do this, they go circle and circle. We don't want to do that. It's okay, but it's not the best way to draw it. We want to learn to draw it like we're really, really smart. So we start with an S, like in Simon. Here's Simon. S, I, M, O. Hmm. Now this letter here, the S, the S, it's a bit like an eight. If I do an S, like this, and then go back to the top, that's an eight. There we go. There's number eight. Fantastic. So, eight, eight, eight. 
another way to draw eight. Let's do one more. We're going to do five first. One, two, three, four, five. Then we need three more. Six, seven, eight. So that's eight. And that is eight. Eight and eight. Good. Number complete. Right. Pattern. Hmm. This is a red pattern. Red, 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 red. Done. That was easy. I can hear all the way from my house, I can hear people shouting, no, Simon, that's wrong. It's the red stays the same. It can't be a red pattern because the red doesn't change. It's red, 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 red. So it's not a color pattern. Yesterday we did a color pattern. The colors changed. Today the color is staying the same. What changes? The shape changes. Yes, the shape changes. So what have we got? Circle? No. Triangle? No. What shape is that? Four sides, all the same. Square. Square. Three sides. Triangle. Square. Triangle. Square. Triangle. Square. Hmm. <gasps> Square. Triangle. Square. Triangle. Square. Yes. Triangle. There we go. Triangle. That's right, isn't it? What? Oh, wrong colour. Okay, let's change the colour. Red, 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 okay, red. Triangle. Good. Red, uh, red square, red triangle. Red square, red triangle. Red square, red triangle. What's wrong? Upside down? Oh, you want it the same way. Okay. It's your pattern. There we go. Square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle. Ah, oh, so look. Square and triangle, they're friends. Square and triangle, they're friends. Square and triangle, they're friends. There we are. One, two, three pairs. Well done. Good. Pattern complete. Right. On to our counting and our 10 frame. Here's our 10 frame. Do you remember yesterday what we said about a 10 frame? If it's full, it must be 10. If it's full, it must be 10. Okay, so we need to count these. If they fill this up, it must be 10. If it isn't full, it's not 10, and we need to count them. Okay, it's a nice pattern. Look, it's a nice shape. Hmm. Right, let's go. So I always fill the top bit first. Fill the top bit first. There we go. Top one's full. One, two, three, four, five. That's full. Five. Mm, is there five left? Is there enough left? I don't think there is. I don't think it's going to be full today. Let's see. Oh. Let's move that up to there. If it's full, it must be 10. If it's not full, it's not 10. It's less than 10. Okay, there's two missing. Okay, two missing. So let's see. Ooh, look, five and three. Five and three was eight, wasn't it? Five and three was eight. Hmm, let's see. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Your turn. It is, it's eight. It's the same as our number of the day. It's eight. And if you had two more, it'd be nine and ten. It's not, it's eight. Very good. Good counting. Right. Odd one out. All interesting things today. It's 
stretching Simon's drawing to, to the limit. So we have an aeroplane, a bicycle, the 155 bus, and a car. A plane, bicycle, bus, and car. Well, I know what's the same about them all. They're all things to use to get from one place to another. They're called vehicles or transport. These are things you use to get around. You want to cycle to school, fly on holiday, get the bus to the shops, drive to see your nan. All these things are used to get places. But which one is the odd one out? I'll give you some time to think. I'll give you 20 seconds. 20, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Hmm, do you have an answer? I'll give you an answer that I got. I will go with the bus because it's the only one with a number on it. I don't have a number on my bike. I don't have a number on my car, or do I? I don't have a number on my aeroplane. There's some letters there, but not a number. But the bus, you call it by its number, the 155, or the 219, or the 137. The bus number, okay. Uh, I've got one more, let's go with the bicycle, because it's the only one you have to pedal. If you go on an aeroplane, the engines push you along. If you go on a bus, do you have to push the bus? Nope, the bus has an engine. Do you have to push your car? No. But do you have to use your legs to make the bike go forward? Yeah, you do. You have to push it, or scoot it, or pedal it. There we go, that's my two odd one out. The bike is the odd one out because it's the only one you have to pedal. Or the bus is the odd one out because it's the only one with a number at the front. There's my answers. Now, you have to think of some answers of your own. What did you come up with? Let me know what your answers were. Have you got something different? Have you used a nice long sentence, please? Okay. So, your tasks today, I would like you to think about eight which is our magic number have a go at trying to write the eight don't worry it's tricky practice doing lots of moves lots of wiggles like this lots of wiggles try and do some wiggles okay if you can't do the eight just practice some wiggles wiggles are good practice counting eight things okay count one to eight and try and count eight to one try and count down Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now, I thought you could also draw an alien, like something from another planet or a monster with eight eyes. So a good thing is a wiggly, wiggly, wobbly thing like this. Let's give it some legs, give it some arms, give it a, it's a happy alien. But we have eight eyes. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Little dots in there. Eight eyes. A monster with eight eyes. Can you do that? Next, have a go at a shape pattern. Yesterday we did colour pattern. Can you draw a shape pattern? If you can't draw triangles, because triangles are tricky, have a go. If you can't, do circles. Okay? And then squares or even lines. That is a shape, a line, circle, line, circle, line, circle, line. There we go. And finally, in your house, I bet you have some toys that have wheels. Find out how many wheels they have. How many wheels, you can see two wheels, but how many wheels does a car have? How many wheels does a bike have? Does an aeroplane have wheels? Okay, look out your window, look at the cars, see if you can see how many wheels they have. Is it always the same? 
okay? And if you go for a walk, have a look at the cars that you pass, how many wheels do they have, okay? Thanks very much. See you tomorrow. I love maths. We love maths. Bye-bye.